Hey everybody, this is Adam Markfeld and in today's video I'm going to go over the Facebook Business Manager because it is the best and only way that you should be managing your Facebook ads and Facebook pages, especially if you're working with a lot of different clients or a number of different businesses. Uh, it's different than just your regular Facebook account, although it's associated with your Facebook account. So basically the Facebook Business Manager is for people that are running um, ads or managing pages or connecting with a variety of different businesses and want to control everything in one place. And in the case of Paracore, this is incredibly valuable because we receive access as a company and then we delegate out the access to different employees within the company. So if someone joins the company or leaves the company or anything like that, it's not connected with their personal Facebook accounts, it's connected with our business account and then we delegate out that access. So if you head over to business.facebook.com, you're gonna see this page. And this is the business manager, and it says managing ad accounts, pages, and all the people who work in them, all in one place, it's free, because it's obviously free. So you head to the business manager, and then you hit login or create account. Um, I'm not gonna do it here, because I'm gonna show you a demo account in just one second, but when you hit create account, it's gonna ask you to log into your personal Facebook page, which is fine, because it is attached to your personal Facebook page. But then it's gonna say, um, create a business account. And with your business account, you're gonna put in your email, your business email, your name, and, um, and then what company you're with, and that will create a business account. And that will allow you to then manage all of your assets within one place. Now, if you're not an agency and you're a client working with us or you're a client that has just stumbled across this video, you probably wanna create a business account for your business anyway because you can then uh, invite your employees, uh, pull in all of your web pages and everything else, and then you can actually invite people, invite other companies like Paracor or an SEO company or anyone else to then work on your business account. So you would basically connect two business accounts through partner IDs, which I'll show you in a second. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a lay of the land. Uh, this is the business manager. This is where you log in or create an account and it's at business.facebook.com, okay? So once you log in and sign up, this is essentially the interface that you see. This is a demo account, so there's not an incredible amount of data in it. It's not a lot at all. Uh, but this is just a bit of an overview page. So it shows what ad accounts you have running, what pages you have in the account. It shows you the amount of spend, and then it shows you some activity for your page. Um, you can add a cover photo, which you would have if you were just to pay a normal page. Um, but this is just a bit of an overview. It's, add, it's asked me to add security, which you can do if you want. You can then hit the ad account overview. So this shows you an overview of uh, just your different ad accounts and kind of how they're spending and, and just gives you like a dashboard look. And then you have uh, activity. So this shows you just a snapshot of how many people are in your business and employees and things like that. So this information to me is not that incredibly helpful. So the most important part that I walk through in this video is the business settings piece right here. Okay, so if I hit business settings, now I'm in this completely different interface that really breaks down all of the different components of your Facebook marketing campaign. So up here on the left, we have users, and this is people, and you'll see myself, Adam Markfeld. You can add a person. So you can invite someone to your business account by email. So if this is Paracore and you, uh, we hire a new employee, we would then invite them to our business account via email. And then we would give them employee access and then potentially admin access if that was, um, if we wanted them to. We also invite our CPA to have finance access um, so that they can you know, move some things around in our P&L. So here's where you can invite employees and uh, pull them into your account, okay? So this is as Paracore or as your business and you wanna add employees in, you do those through the people. So then we have Adam here. And then on the right-hand side, these are all of the things that Adam has access to. So I have access to our Paracore demo page. This shows what level of access I have. So admin, editor, moderator, advertiser, so on and so forth. So I can change my permissions here. Uh, it shows what ad accounts I have access to, uh, what properties I have access to, uh, product catalogs, and then apps. Okay, so these are all the different things that Adam has access to. Now, if I wanna give myself access to certain things, I will hit assign assets. And then it, it asks me what I want to add. So I'll say pages. And I only have the Paracore demo page in here, but you will see a list of pages. You can click them all. You can kind of change the default role here. If I click this, it allows me to determine what role I want to choose. And then uh, I'll hit save, and that'll give me access to a page or an ad account or something like that. Okay. So what ends up happening is 
Paracore as a business manager has set up its account. So this is Paracore's account and I have a number of employees in here. And then another company, let's say, um, you know, Phoenix Electricians, uh, they set up their own business account and then they might share their account with us so that we have access to their pages and ad accounts. If I wanted one of my particular employees to be able to access that, I would select my employee here and I'll go over how to get access to that in a minute, but I would select that employee here assign assets and then they would be able to access someone else's ad account in someone else's uh, page okay so um that's people so those are people and then we have partners and paracore is considered a partner we connect with different business accounts so that we can manage their ads so if you're an agency you're a partner if you are a company you want to invite partners to your account so for example, if I was a uh, Phoenix Electricians and I wanted to give Paracore access to my Facebook account, I would come into my business manager, I would set it up. I would then say, I wanna add a partner and I hit this button, it says, oh, you need a partner ID. And so I'd say, okay, I don't have a partner ID. So I would ask Paracore to give me a partner ID. So in this case, it's right here. So your business manager ID. So I would take that business manager ID uh, as Paracore I would then send it to my client, Phoenix Electricians. They would take that ID, they would go to partners, they would do add, they would put in the ID, and then that links up the two accounts. So it's a little bit like how you connect to AdWords MCC accounts. Um, you're not requesting access. However, you are giving your partner ID to uh, Phoenix uh, Electric Company. They are then inviting you and giving you access to their account. So they put that in here, they hit save boom, they would have a partner account, and then the two business accounts are connected. So that would be great. Now, once you have business accounts that are connected, you then have uh, all these different accounts over here on the left-hand side. So uh, very first, we have pages. So just obviously Facebook pages, ad accounts. Um, so if you're working on a variety of different ad accounts, all the ad accounts end up showing up here. Uh, different apps, you also have Instagram accounts. Um, line of business yet. So this is uh, it's just kind of a different thing where you can add different lines of businesses. So um, this, this allows you to add a, manage a group of accounts and other assets. So let's say that uh, you have like one client that's like, like we had a retail shopping center for a while and they had like four ad accounts and four Facebook pages. So then you would add a, a, a line of business that you could then group multiple things into. So I'm not gonna go into that. And then you also have projects. So um, this is organizing ad accounts and pages under one project. But this is where you can organize the accounts. Um, you know, I mentioned this is new. I recorded this video like a year and a half ago, the same exact video, and things are just changing in the business manager all the time. So it's December 4th, 2018. If you're watching this video in late 2019, there's a pretty good chance that there are other things that are different. So um, projects is what I just described. Um, line of business is something a little bit different. Uh, but as we keep moving along, you have product catalogs, you can share pixels, um, you have offline event sets, custom conversions. I mean, so these are all of the different users, data sources, um, accounts, everything is all in this one area, okay? So this is how you manage your business and all the different assets related to your business. Now, if you go to your Facebook page on Facebook, there are some different things that you can manage within there. So you can manage like lead forms and um, you can manage just different you know, videos and different assets within the Facebook page itself. This is where you manage the higher level stuff like domains, block lists, um, pixels, and you share those things out. Um, you can also integrate lead, lead access right here for lead forms. Okay, so that is the high level. Um, also, uh, I do want to say that with pages, if I hit add, so uh, if you're a business and you're not an agency and you are just setting up business manager for the very first time, you're gonna wanna pull your assets into business manager so that you can delegate them out because just by creating a business manager account, it doesn't mean that your pages or ad accounts or anything else are actually connected with the business manager. So what you do is you create business manager, which is what we're looking at, and then you say add a page. And you can either add a page because your business already owns it, right? So this is pretty easy. So I hit this. Um, I don't think anything will show up. So let me do, yeah, so I can just like start typing and like different businesses show up, but uh, I don't own any of those. So you can then just add one of those pages if you happen to own it. You can request access to a page um, which is another way to add a page. So this is a little bit different than the partner. You can say, I just want access to this one page and then they can give you access to that. 
or you can create a brand new page from in here. So adding a page is really important. Requesting access um, for, to a page is also another way to get it pulled into your business account if you're just requesting access to it, uh, or you can create a new page. So uh, this is kind of an overview of the business manager. Once you head up here, so if you wanna get back to that first page I was at, you hit this Facebook icon, which I think is um, really weird that this is the navigation. I think navigation is really weird. So yeah, this icon takes you here. The business settings icon takes you here, which is where we were just looking, which is users, accounts, data sources, everything else. And then if you hit business settings, this is where you can start actually managing different aspects of an ad account. So this is a little bit strange because now we're now in the audiences and then you can choose your ad account right here. So if you have a bunch of ad accounts, then you would go like, you would hit like the asset library and audiences, and then you hit this drop down, and then you could change between different ad accounts, then manage different audiences. So now we're in the ads manager. And then if you wanted to go back to your business manager, you hit the Facebook icon, and then you can go back over to business settings. But the navigation, in my opinion, is a little bit goofy. But that's a brief overview of the business manager. Um, if you are a business that has multiple people working on your ad account or Facebook ad account or Facebook uh, page or anything like that, you want to be in the business manager. You want to have this set up. And then if you're if you're working with other companies and you need to connect it, you also need to uh, have this set up so you can connect with agencies like Paracor or, an, or a, a social media agency or whoever else might be wanting access to your business. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. This is the, um, uh, my name's Adam. I'm the owner of Paracore. We're a pay-per-click lead generation agency. If you have any questions, please comment below, uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We uh, release a lot of videos just like this. And uh, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.